with uh, the lovely Gary Sinise. That was a clip of your uh, your ba the Lieutenant Dan band. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the name of your band. You go out with the Lieutenant Dan band. That's my band. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, and was that a bass solo you were playing? <laughs> you, you couldn't tell. Uh, well, I don't know. I thought that the bass solo had been banned under the Geneva Convention. <laughs> Along with the drum solo and the guitar solo that gets past 25 minutes. That's quite a 70s uh, thing to do with the bass solo. That's why it's so short. It's just a yeah, short little thing. No, it was, it was short enough. Do you, I didn't know that you were such a musical. Is that a way you were going to go? At one uh, yeah, for a long time. Uh, I, I, that's all I wanted to do was play music. And then I, you know, I was going back and forth between acting and music. And acting kind of took over. And it's just about... Uh, last seven or eight years that and I've And that's been what you do again. when you do the USO tours then, is that right? You take the band with you? Our, my band has done uh, over 40 concerts for the troops in the last two and a half years. So Fantastic. 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 You get out overseas? Do you get over to Afghanistan, well, Iraq? And... I've been to, uh, I haven't taken the band to Iraq or Afghanistan, but I've been to both uh, myself. Right. I've been to Iraq a couple of times. I've been to Afghanistan. I was just there in May. Yeah. Uh, the band has been overseas to Singapore, Diego Garcia, Korea, the UK, the Netherlands, uh, Germany. And we've been all around this country. We, you know, we go out. Um, I'll get on a plane on a Saturday morning after shooting uh, all week, and then I'll fly someplace, and we'll play at a base on a Saturday night, and then... What's it like out there? I ask this a lot of people have been out. What's it like in Afghanistan and Iraq? What's the morale of the troops like out there right now? Uh, well, my, um, I was in Afghanistan in May. And the, the morale was very, very good. Wherever I went, the troops are uh, committed and they, they believe in their mission there. It, uh, Afghanistan is, they were aware that things were going to start heating up in Afghanistan a little bit more as the weather got better, as the U.S. forces moved from the south up north and the NATO forces come into the south, they thought that there was going to be more activity with Why the bad guys Why is it with the NATO forces? The, the, the NATO yeah. forces like, yeah, do what you like? Well, well, I mean, what's the deal? No, right? no, no. It's just in the transition, they've oh, been right. taking, taking like... advantage of the transition from, right. you know, strong U.S. presence to more cooperative coalition, coalition presence. Because so, there'll be Dutch yeah. in with the U.S. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Listen, where, where I was at, I was at Bagram Air Base, and people should be aware, there's, there's, there's Egyptians there, there's Italians there, there's Poles, there's yeah, Germans, there's British, British there's Australians, Canadians. It's a big coalition there that, yeah. that, that are trying to stabilize that country. What's your feelings on that? What's your feelings about the, about the military out there? What do, you, do you think, uh, do, well, maybe not stay with them, <clears> do you think we should be there, but what about the, uh, what are the ideas of the military? What about national service? Do you think people should be drafted out there? Or should it be all volunteers? Uh, I think it's best to have an all-volunteer service. That's what the military and, and, says yeah, as well, right? I, I absolutely think it's best to have people that want to be in the service rather than stick a bunch of people in there that <laughs> yeah, don't want to be there. It never really works out that way. Well. Yeah, yeah. not, not, not so good. And we have, you know, we're lucky in this country that we do, not, uh, that we do have an all-volunteer service. So everybody has to remember that everybody that's out there serving the country, serving the United States, is there voluntarily. And, uh, you know, they go where the president tells them, no matter who's in the White House. There That's are right. troops. There are volunteers. Uh, obviously, they're going to be very, very active for years to come. It's a, it's a dangerous world out there. And I just go out there to try to pat these people on the back and tell them that uh, we appreciate their sacrifice, their service, and let their families know that, uh, you know, we're not going to forget about them when they go over into a dangerous situation. It's a, I think Fair play for you. Absolutely, I believe it as well. Thanks for the we're out of time. It's lovely to see you. Guys, and niece, everybody, we'll be right back with Whitley Streamer. <laughs> but the weird thing is, he actually meant clowns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? Please welcome Gary Sinise, everybody. <laughs> Everybody. I'm glad you're here. You. Things were getting a little bit flouncy tonight. So you're uh, here, you're, you're bringing it all back down a bit and bringing yeah, a bit yeah, more yeah, uh, yeah, macho. Yeah, yeah, I got a question. What's a badonk? <laughs> In your pants. That's close. That's close. He's over there. Uh, well, let me look it up. I'll look it up. Uh, what is it? What's it? I suspect a badonk is probably a slang term for a lady's fun packet. <laughs> 
<laughs> I suspect, I didn't you hear uh, Trace Atkins has a song, Honky Tonk, Badonk, Badonk. So it's either that or it's a piano bar. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to work that into our show. A little bit. Yes. Yeah. Do, do you play honky tonk ba donk ba donk with the Lieutenant Dan band? Ah, uh, the band. Uh, no, we haven't played anything about ba donk, but it's it's clearly popular. So we're gonna have to get into that. The very very few things in this on this earth are more popular than ba donk, my friend. You know what is. You know, I was, I was on the show about four years ago. What's, what's happened since then? Oh, I stopped giving, I, I stopped giving a rat's ass. Uh, <laughs> and so all the stuff that was, that was so enjoyable four years ago when I was like, is it okay if I cuss? Um, yes. Do I have to? I'm now like, ay caramba! Uh, so, It was, it was so classy back then. It was classy back then, yeah. We had, we had the chamber orchestra there and... Uh, oh, but you know what we do have now? I think you'll like this, actually. Have you ever been to Australia? I have, yeah. Well, there you'll recognize these then. These are kangaroo testicles. <laughs> yes, that's, if you will, yes. Now, why, why would I recognize those? Well, didn't you go, didn't you go out looking around and seeing uh, the native wildlife and stuff? Yeah, yeah. No, no, I no, didn't know. no. But what have you been up to then? What have you been doing? Making the CSIs in New York? CSI New York, yeah. Don't you get freaked out by clowns? I get a little freaked out by clowns. The clown episode is on tomorrow night. It's a great, great show. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't get freaked out by clowns, but uh, it's what weird. What freaks you out then? Something's got to freak being, you out. Being here is. Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> they they get little, freak you out. You're all right. A little I, have you been in on the USO tours? I have, yeah. Because you're the, the reason I went on my first one. I know and that. That's true, I'm yeah, no, my first one, because, like, a guy was here, and then he said, we, we did that show business, uh, Tootsie Fruits, on the air, when you yeah. said, you got to do one, and I'm like, you bet, buddy. <laughs> and then, <laughs> but this is true, then the next day, he called me in my office, he went, Craig, is Gary, now, when are you going on this uh -oh. tour? When are we going to set it up? <laughs> and I went. You yeah, did. Yeah, and I've uh, been a few times now, and uh, you I went did to the, Bahrain. Right? I went to Bahrain, and then I went to Germany, and now I'd quite like to go to Afghanistan. Uh, no, no. How many people say that? But well, I'd like to go and I like to go. Have yeah. you been to Afghanistan yet? Uh, I've been there twice. I was there last, uh, not this past Thanksgiving, but last year we played three concerts there. And, and do you have to keep it quiet in case the Taliban hear it? Oh, we turn it up. We turn <laughs> it up. Really? Loud. Yeah, turn it up loud. Oh, I yeah. thought there was. Uh, no, so you're, but you're behind the wire, right? You're in, you're in the compound. You can't. You don't just run down the streets of no. Kabul. <laughs> 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 uh, no. American rock and roll. Yeah. You don't do that. Not, not like that. No, no. it's, uh, it's all very safe very on the bases. But I got to tour. You know, I tour around, and the, they take me out in between concerts. I'll fly out to a forward operating base and visit really? troops out there. I was able to deliver some school supplies out to a, a base that's very, very far uh, uh, out near the Pakistan border and they, they get nothing out there. And so I was able to take school supplies out, give them to the troops and they gave them the God kids. God bless you, sir. Do you, uh, do you get nervous going out now? Well, you know, there's a lot of guns. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, that's uh, war for you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, but uh, but they take good care of you. They, yeah. You Did know. you ever go uh, uh, bond steel in Kosovo? I and, and no, I never. That's a Kosovo. great gig. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've got a, they've got a, an actual shed that you can go inside and play in. It's got walls, a roof, everything. It's awesome. What do you mean? <laughs> well, it's got a stage. You never. Oh oh. oh yeah. Play. Yeah yeah yeah. You know, play with your band, and they have a backstage area, and they and they gave us uh, you know some bagels and donuts and stuff. <laughs> Right. Yeah, so, they were very nice. Yeah, I mean, and that's a small base there. I mean, it's pretty it's, small. It's, yeah. Well, we don't, don't have know. a lot of troops here. We don't have a lot there now, but uh, there was a lot of. I mean, it looked kind of intimidating when I was there because it's this very kind of Dracula-like countryside, yeah. and then <laughs> you, you fit right in. Oh yeah. yeah. Like, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> so I was there, but you're in this Dracula countryside, and then these <laughs> Black Hawk helicopters gonna. <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. It's amazing. Uh, but yeah. they have this rule with the USO, especially if you're a comic, that um, you can't make fun of the locals. And then so the drive in from the airport all the way into the base, and I'm looking at all this material thinking, come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they give you a lecture. Oh, yeah, too. now don't. We're, we are here as guests of this country. Do not make fun of the situation and the locals. And I'm like, uh, all right. Uh. <laughs> What am I going to do? Yeah, yeah. So what, you want me to travel all this way and make fun of America? That doesn't seem right. <laughs> no, no, it's fun, though, isn't it? I'm glad, I'm glad you went. That was your second... That second was the trip. second one. Yeah, I'm probably due one now, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Afghanistan, of, of course, is uh, in, in need. And uh, yeah. we have a lot of troops over there. They're working very yeah. hard. Our troops are just the greatest. Spectacular uh, people, spectacular aren't they? I mean, they're so impressive when you go out there and meet yeah, them. It's, it's amazing. Very much. And it's especially if your opinion of, uh, if, oh, if all you're seeing, if you're older, and all you're seeing of young people is, you know, the cast of the Jersey Shore, and then you go and... But don't. And, uh, right, yeah. and then you go and meet the young people who are out there who are... I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're still interested in but don't, but they're... Uh, <laughs> I, I guarantee it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guarantee that. Yeah. And we come full circle. We're, we're out of time here. <laughs> but, hey, listen, I got you something, man. Uh, I want you to... I want you to take this, I want you to read it, and I think there'll be a lot of ideas in there for you. Thank you. All right. Maybe a movie in this uh, thing. Yeah, yeah. Gary Sinise, everybody. <laughs> I'll be back in uh, eight months. <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>